Hi, have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So the question here is how to convert var binary SQL to binary SharePoint. The requirement here is there's a SQL old database that stores document on using the image column format. And then the user wants to download one of the files to SharePoint using the create file action step. Okay, so what I did is I wrote a small c .net code to upload an image to my local SQL server. So this is my SQL server and uh, I created a table called plans. For the test, what I did is I given the name, name of the, the image, and then I create, I have got two columns here. One is called the image and another one is called the image one. And it's two different data types. I want to just test both data types, how it behaves. That's the only reason, you know, I given the two, I have used the two column names here. One is the VAR binary max I used. Another one is the image data type. I believe here in the thread, um, I can see here it's been mentioned using the image column format. Then the next thing what I did here is I built a small flow and oh, let me remove this and uh, use the get rows, uh, authenticated my SQL connections, connected, uh, set the table, that's all it got in the get rows. And the next thing I did here is I am uh, iterating the values. I only got one record there. Let me show you the record which I uploaded using my SQL code. So select star from plans. You can see here I got one with the VAR binary format and another one is the image one, um, which is the image data column data type. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the flow now. And to what I did is I use create file used a path and then name and the image one that's what i'm using here i'm going to do one thing i'm going to use again a create file here in the same um, document library i'm going to use a different name here so i'm going to use your test image uh, dot jpeg then i'm going to use this this image yeah so let me drag and draw yeah that's fine so one i'm one i use the image one another one i use the image yeah so remember this is the image that's var binary format and image one that is the image column data type okay now I'm going to run my flow now and just see the result set. So I'm not converting anything here. All I am doing here is reading the get rows from the SQL server and uh, mapping the dynamic values under the create file step. Okay, looks like flow ran successfully. Let's have a look. The first one you know, it used uh, the file name as hydrangea.jpg. That's a, uh, the file I uploaded. Uh, then the image and the image one there. So as you can see here, both of them created both both of the action step action step successfully passed. And uh, the second name I used is a test image. I can't use the same image, otherwise it's going to overwrite. That's the reason I'm using a different name here. All I want to prove here is, you know, are there any difference between the, you know, the images here, which I can directly upload into SharePoint? Do I need to convert using any expressions, things like that? So in this case, I haven't done anything at all. So let's go back to SharePoint. And that's the document library here. I'm going to refresh it. Let's have a look at those two files. Okay, I can see hydrangea.jpg and testimate.jpg jpeg there and this is about a minute ago these two files um, uploaded okay those two been created now i'm going to double click the hydrangea.jpg okay here we go that's a file i uploaded using my custom c sharp code earlier 
to the SQL Server. And again, this is the another one, testimage.jpg. Here it is. So both for the both files, I haven't done any conversion at all. It's fairly straightforward uh, job it is from the flow point of view. All you need to do here is um, use the get rows and then iterate the values then use the file name and um, image uh, image one or, and the image here I, that's my mapping here yeah so uh, that's what i did use to create the file so remember um, you know i did test it using both data types here one is the var binary and another one is the image data type hope this is useful thank you for watching